what's up guys so welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel it's a girl back again my boy i hope you guys are awesome i hope you're doing good as for me i'm very good i can't complain much so today's video as you can see on the title i shall be doing a grocery haul it's been a while since i did a grocery haul actually i don't know whether most of my subscribers i guess most of my subscribers have not seen my grocery haul because I did it way back before I deleted my the previous the Kitambo videos. So I don't think there's any grocery haul at the moment on my channel. But anyway, today we're gonna do that. So I decided to go to Marigiti Market. I don't know whether you guys know Marigiti Market. Okay, it's located in town. Yeah, town, 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 Nairobi town. And they sell vegetables and fruits. Yeah, so yeah, and they are affordable. They sell them at a whole, wholesale price. Yeah, so of course they they are cheap but mostly mostly they sell them in bulk like bulk bulk let's say if you buy vegetables when i was a kigunia you get a whole sack maybe if you're, you're you're buying a whole sack of vegetables cabbages you know kills ama boxes of fruits that's when they're gonna sell them at a very cheap 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 price because they're, they're selling to wholesalers who will sell to other people but if you're buying small amounts like me, who I'm only buying for my own personal use, they are not going to, to sell them at that cheap price. But of course, it won't be as expensive as the Kawaida prices, Ukuko Kawaida shops, the Kawaida Kibandas. Do you get me? Do you understand me? Yeah, so today I decided to go there. I was meeting with my mom in town. She was bringing me some things I had sent her to bring me from home. And uh, we decided why not just visit uh, Marigiti and just buy some things because why not? Why not? So I'm gonna show you everything that I bought and I'm gonna mention the prices. I hope I'm gonna remember all the prices. But of course, I think I remember most of the prices, if not all. And with it, guys, I'm filming this video very late at night. I know it's 12, 12.13. 12.13 a.m. Can you even see it? 1214 yeah. so guys in case you've not subscribed really consider subscribing to my youtube channel we are at we are on our road to 5k subscribers so in case you're watching this and you're not subscribed i don't know what you're waiting for click that red subscribe button down there it will support my channel and also give this video a thumbs up if you love it and also comment let me know what you think about the stuff that i, I i'm gonna show you and yeah anyway let me first of all show you everything then you're gonna comment so so let me i'm going to show you one by one okay lifting them, lifting them up so i have two gunias two bags uh if you're very heavy as you guys have seen uh and yeah and imagine what i didn't buy everything that i have. anyway for the transit so so the first thing that I bought are this. Mm -hmm. and this is where my makasi will come in. So the first things I bought are these uh, hohos. These ones, the yellow ones. And the red ones. Yes, yeah, so for these ones, I bought how many of them? No way am I going to put them as I show you. Ah, okay, so for these ones, I bought how many? Let me. Oh, I bought uh, four yellow. Four yellow. I don't know if you can see the four of them. There are four of them. And uh, four red. So for these ones, this this is a kg, according to how they measure them. So most of the things there, uh, in Magigiti, they, they measure their things using a uh, this carrying machine. So you the the prices are set per kg. They don't like count one by one. They send they 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 weigh. You get on a tumeko carrying machine. So per kg, this one was going for one hundred and one fifty per kg. So you can imagine. So how many are they? Eight of them. Eight divided by very, 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 very fast. So that you can see whether it's expensive or not cheap. One fifty divided by eight. 
one I was buying one at 18 bob around 18 bob to me I find it uh, not very cheap compared to how I buy them out here but again not very not very expensive but not very cheap you get it's kind of there because most most of them I buy them at 25 bob in most cases you can the chinese and maybe 20 bob but most cases I usually buy them at 25 bob when I'm buying each qua this normal uh, kibandas so to me I feel it's kind of cheap yeah okay. I've saved something how much do you guys think in your comment down below let me know how much you buy them for so there they are the next thing are this normal green pe green papers should I call them green papers so the next thing the next ones that I bought are these ones these ones so these ones, these ones are going for 80 bob. Yeah, I guess 80 bob. How many are they? One, 14. 14 at uh, 80 bob. Let's see. I was buying one at 5 bob. 5 bob something. So almost the same price as here. But these ones, they look kind of big. Yeah, so it's not that bad. It's a... Uh, it's kind of affordable because they're not that small if you can see them so it was going for they were selling them at uh how much 80 bob package so this one's by a kg so turn it left so the next thing that i bought are these mint leaves mint these are mint so for these ones, these ones are for Evans. I'm going to be preparing green juice for Evans. He's, uh, he's trying to lose some weight. He's trying to keep fit. And so he needs more of this, more of mint. I know if you guys have ever used them, I know you guys understand how good they are, um, uh, how helpful they are, and especially when it comes to weight loss. So for these ones, these ones are going for how much? Was it? 30 bob, I'm at 20 bob. I guess 20 bob. I'm not sure. I can't remember, but something of the sort. Yeah, so let's continue. The next thing I bought is this water melon. You guys can see it. So today I learned that if you want to know whether a watermelon is is ready and ripe, you do this way. You'll, hear it. You'll, you'll just know whether it's ripe and I hope it is ripe personally because I'm not sure I was just sold that way so for this one it's so heavy by the end you guys can see it's even bigger than my head but this one was going for how much it was going for 200 bob it was around 5 kgs if I'm not wrong around 5 kgs it was going for 200 bob and here half of this is always 200 bob so you see I saved yeah so Let's continue. So the next thing I bought is Minji. Green, is it green peas? I'm not what do you call peas? These are peas. I don't know whether I should just open it for so that you guys can see them. Um, for this one, for this one, I can't remember the price. I can't remember the price so well. Here they are. Yeah. But uh, how much was it going for? I can't remember. But this was uh, one kg. This is a kg. But they measured okay, a kg, but they added me some. I can't remember. The Ooh. Garlic. I bought two garlics. I don't use garlics that often. You can see them. Yeah, so these ones we're going for these two. I bought them at 25 bob. Yeah, 25 bob. It was Ben one, I could have bought it at 15 bob, but since I was Ben two, I bought them at 25 bob. So that was a plus. The next thing are uh, these onions. They are just sweating. Oh my. They're sweating. So the next thing I bought. The next thing I bought was the onions. You guys can see them. 
So this one's we are going for 200 bob. 200. Yeah, I guess 200 bob. They're the medium size, not the too small ones and not the big, big, big ones. But they're going for 200 bob, which I think is uh, very cheap, very affordable compared to the Kawaida ones. Yeah, so this is a plus for me. So the thing with the thing with Marigiti, there's some things that you'll buy and they are maybe the same price as the Kawaida price, Okukwa normal Kawaida Vibandas. But now there are other things that are way cheaper. You get so it's a it's a good it's a good place. So also bought uh waros, potatoes, the two bags of this, two katatases of this. These ones were going for 150. Yeah, for both of them. 150. Let me place them there. Here are the others. The next thing that I bought was this aloe vera. As I told you guys, Evans is uh, on his journey to losing weight and uh yeah this one will be good i'm gonna use it to make the those two be, those two mchangani called the green green ninis for him to drink to lose weight so this one was going for 30 bob and it's a big one maybe you guys can see it well almost the same size as my um, you guys can see that size yeah so it's a big one and it's it's a how can I how can I call it it's wide is it wide that's the best word to use but yeah it was going for 30 bob and uh, I'm gonna use it I'm gonna see I've never used it I've never made those green green juices and uh, yeah green those green juices for weight loss but I'm gonna use tutorials on youtube to make them because yeah, that guy is really passionate to lose some some weight you know then we have so i'm on the left and the last one so i got these strawberries these are strawberries The strawberries were going for they were going for 150 for these ones i don't know if it's cheap or expensive i'm not a strawberry buyer but since nowadays i'm making juice very often and milkshake i think i'll i'll really need them so yeah i bought them at 150 but comment on below let me know whether it's cheap or expensive according to you i'm according to the price that you buy them for but i think it's affordable I think it's affordable what do you guys think it's just affordable it may not be that cheap I'm a maybe it may not be that expensive but at least it's affordable look at them so fresh so fresh yeah so they are going for 150 bob the next things that I bought the tomatoes I'm gonna show you all of them all the rest. So here they are tomatoes. Can you see them? Yeah, there they are. A kg was going for a hundred bob, so these were two kgs, and so they were going for two hundred bob. Yeah, so that was 200 bob. The next thing um, these stuffs. I don't know the name. I usually forget the name. But they're also good for weight loss. There were some of the people used them to eat. To, they cook them, but I've never cooked them. I, I personally knew them from these two tutorials, to juice, green juice tutorials. That's where I saw them. But I've never cooked them, so I don't know but they're so good when it comes to making uh, green juice 
guys can you comment down below let me know the name of this uh this thing this is it leaves i'm a vegetable summer this this thing comment down below tell me the name if you know the name yeah so this one's we're going for how much can you even remember the price guys forgive me i'm so sorry i can't remember the price but yeah let's see how it will be but then i'm going to do a a a, a, a add a video of me making the green juice yeah with you guys and uh, we're gonna test and see whether it will be the results will be good so make sure you stay tuned and also subscribe in case you've not subscribed it will be helpful for those who are planning to lose some weight so the next thing that i bought okay pineapples pineapples So personally, I wanted uh, I wanted pineapples from Uganda, and I'm not sure that these ones are from UG. I'm not sure, but I hope they told me they are from Uganda. I hope they are from Uganda because they're Ugandan ones. They're always very sweet, according to that's my opinion. That's my, my opinion. So I usually prefer the Ugandan ones, and I prefer. I think this one was from Uganda, according to what they told me. So I hope so, and I hope it will be sweet. So this one was going for fifty bob. I bought. Two of them. The other one is just there. I don't know where specifically, but it go company. So, and by the guys, I usually make pineapple juice. I usually use pineapples mostly to make juice and not eating them like directly. These days, I prefer making juice from pineapples, and it's always heavenly. That's why I usually prefer sweet pineapples. Then it's go sour. Then it's go tam. Yeah, because they always give me some. Uh, they always produce some sweet juice pineapple juice yeah so the next things that i bought were these mangoes can you see them so i understand season ya maembe imeisha ama imeenda kuisha inende kiisha so these are the mangoes that we have right now they're not usually my favorite but uh i hope they are sweet i didn't taste one but i hope they are sweet personally i'm gonna use them to make juice if at all they will be sweet and if at all Okay, these are not the best when it comes to making juice, according to me. But I hope it will. I hope they'll serve the puff. They'll serve the purpose well, perfectly. Yeah. But in case they don't be so much good, they don't be good enough to make juice. I'm gonna. We're gonna eat them. Okay. So these ones are going for twenty bob each. Twenty bob each. So I'm going to put them. So the next things that I bought were these are uh, apples. Can you see them? So for this ones, one one was going for twenty five bob. Here I usually buy them one for one one at uh, thirty bob. So it was a plus for me. Yeah, so I bought how many? I don't know how many they are. One, two, eight, eight, nine. Yeah. Oh, nine of them. I also bought this kind of on uh, this this oranges. I don't know whether you guys know them. Personally, I don't know how they are called. And by the I've never understood why they're always very expensive. I've never like taken my time to eat them. But today I decided let me just explore. Let me know why these oranges are always that that expensive. I even don't know how they are called. Let me see them. So you guys know them. So these ones were going for 25 bob each. I've never understood why they are always this expensive. A book guys tell me why these oranges are always expensive. My it's the taste. I don't know. If you know the reason why they are expensive, comment down below. Let me know. So let's continue. Let's continue. So the next thing that I bought were these broccolis. Now the problem is that, that guy premiered me the small ones. Ah, but anyway, there's no problem because I'm going to remove them. So for these ones, but they didn't reason. But anyway, it's okay. So for these ones, they were they were they were, they were measuring them. 
okay they were doing what they were selling them per kg so this one was one kg and it was going for how much a hundred bob it was going for a hundred bob for a kg so how many are they although they are two small ones but they are how many five five of them although there's like a big one here let me see if i can see it yeah so there are five of them they're going for 100 bob what do you think is the price affordable is it cheap let me know this is the other pineapple So the other things that I bought were these daniyas, coriander, are they called coriander, daniyas, these ones are going for 20 bob only, all these, they have uh, pangad them, a bunch of uh, five, uh, no, five of them, five are going for, let me tell you. sometimes this English can be very difficult, so this one, this one, so this one, they were arranging them five, five, like one, two three four five for 20 ball and i think this is more than enough for the time being i'm gonna put them there so the other things that i bought were carrots i don't know that you guys are gonna see well <sighs> here they are These are carrots. All these are carrots. These ones are going for 50 bob. Imagine 50 bob. All these. I guess carrots are the most cheap. Are the cheapest things that I, I found there. Man. Yeah. And finally, we have cucumbers here, if I'm not wrong. These are cucumbers. These ones. They were selling them at uh, how much? I can't even remember. Ah, why am I forgetting? 60 bob a kg. 60 bob a kg. How many are they? They are. Oh. How many? Six of them. So it's like one, one was going for 10 bob. So these ones, I don't normally like cook cucumbers. I don't add cucumbers in my food, but for this ones, I'm gonna use them to make green juice for events. Yeah, so guys, that's all for the haul. But before that, let me just add some things that my mom brought for me and also Evans' mom sent over to us. So there's some of the things. Okay, those ones I'm gonna show you. Okay, let me just show you. There are some avocados that Evans' mom uh, sent. There's some sweet potatoes. Here they are, and we had some. What else? They also bananas. Yeah, bananas. You know, even is from Kisiland, and uh, there they love bananas. They love bananas very much. So her mom sent us a lot of bananas, like lots, lots, lots of bananas, uh, green bananas, which. It's good, which is a plus for us. So something else that maybe I can show you. Um, yeah, other avocados. My mom brought them for me from home. I love, love, love avocados very much. So we have a lot of avocados. But these ones look kind of sweeter compared to these ones. But anyway, let's not judge a book by its cover. But yeah, at least we now have stock. We have avocado stock. We have all these avocados. Imagine, I, avocado lovers. I know you guys know. I know you guys know the that kind of feeling. Something else, my mom sent me were this. Were these uh, eggs? There's a place my mom usually buy eggs at a wholesale price. These are the Kenyaji eggs, the white ones, not the Kawida yellow ones, the white ones. Okay, you guys know the Kenyaji eggs. So these are them. And uh, there's a place where my mom buy them at a 
at a wholesale price so like for this one this one's we're going for 11 bob each so for a tray it was how much 330 one two three four five two three four five six yeah, it was going for three three hundred and thirty bob. All these, so we have stock for. We also have stock for eggs. Yeah, and that is an advantage to those people who live around. Uh, to those people who their usha goes is near Nairobi, ama near where they stay, because you can easily get things from home, direct from home. You get at an affordable price. So yeah, this is a win for me. I don't know what else is. Oh, let me see. Oh, let me see what my mom added here for me. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What are these? What are these? call them in Kiswahili? In English? Wow! Personally, I love Nomas very, 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 very much. So, mm. so all this. I don't know that you can see them, but uh, wow, I'm happy. So guys, I guess that's all for today. Uh, all, this is all I bought. I don't know. I'm gonna show you. This is all I bought, and they were going for okay. If I, I calculate a total of how much I spent in Marigiti, spent at Marigiti, it was around 2500, 2500 to 2600. I don't know, 26, 25. I'm at 28 around there 25 to 2800 I'm not sure which to me is more than yeah which to me is uh more than affordable and uh it will take me it will take me it will skuma skuma me yeah so I'm gonna take this for almost some few weeks yeah for them for some they're gonna go up to a month for some they're gonna go for up to maybe three weeks others two weeks others one week so yeah guys i'm happy and uh thank you very much guys for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed it i hope you guys have gotten a car like a plug maybe i'm not sure for those who okay so yeah so i guess that's all for today in case you have any question kindly consider asking on the comment box there down and also in case you have any comments anything that you will wish to let us know um, uh, in case you know of places where you can buy these stuffs at a cheaper price kindly consider saying it mention it mentioning it down there and also if you've loved the video kindly let me know on the comment section okay so otherwise guys thank you very much for watching if you watched till the end i really 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 appreciate it i hope you guys have subscribed before you listen and i hope you've given this video a thumbs up otherwise guys have a lovely night or morning or day or evening whatever have a lovely night have a lovely time i love you guys very very much see you on my next one peace